Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to use the subtract function. So the subtract function is a 3D function, so you're going to have to be using a 3D drawing. So first off, I have this, just a square that I've extruded. And um, let's say this is walls of house, but the house needs doors. So I'm going to draw an object simulating or representing a door. So let's say that big. Okay, so none of this is to scale, so I'm just using whatever I think of. Um, so I'm going to move this, let's say door shape, into my object. So it's much better to see it with the, the 2D wireframe activated instead of realistic. So I move it over to where I want it on my wall, just move it up a bit so that it it goes over both sides or goes through the wall. Let me just show you what I mean. So it goes through there and it goes through there as well. So to subtract, I'm going to go to my subtract function and it's located in the solid editing part or tab. So I click on that. I click the object I want to leave behind. Then I right click to enter. Then I select the object that I want to take out of my original one that I've selected. And I right click and as you can see it's subtracted wherever this cut or wherever this was double or just cut my original object. So I hope you learned something new and you can do this with uh, Windows as well or any other object you can subtract from your original. Let me just show you if I subtract the sphere. The sphere. So let's say I want, to, I want this strange looking object removed from our original one but I want it to leave a mark or a footprint of what I've um, had originally so I click my um, original object or the one I want to leave behind I right click to end that selection then I click again to select the object I want to take away so as you can see it's removed that um, so you can subtract any object from um, any object that you have. So I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye